Okay. Here we go. NFL drama. Ooh. We're almost at the end, everybody. Mm. NFL drama. We only have two stories today. Um, Janae, do you want to lead the first one? Yes, man. Let's talk about how Skip Bayless kind of went on my boy Shannon Sharp. For some reason, you know, Shannon was spitting facts about how Tom Brady is not looking the best this year. It's not... We're not seeing the Tom Brady that we normally see, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the history-making year that we are looking. I know, Kate. I know. We are looking at Tom Brady, and we're noticing that he is not the same. But Skip Bayless kind of took a shot at Shannon Sharp, basically saying that he was jealous of him and that he, you know, he's better than you and all of this stuff. And it kind of got Shannon Sharp riled up because at the end of the day, he's already in the, uh, the Hall of Fame. He's proven himself to be an amazing tight end, one of the best. I mean, when you do the top 100 players and he's sitting at that table, you know that he's considered one of the best in his position. I just felt like Skip Bayless, as somebody who's never played sports, and when you did, you weren't that great. Right. You can't really talk about people like that. I just feel like you can't. I, and tell I him, like, Janae. Tell him. Kate has <laughs> loved for Tom Brady, but Kate has also stated the same fact. It's just we're not seeing the same person. But you also can't take jabs at somebody. You know, you're jealous of him and, and 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 you know, he's a better player than you ever were. Are you sitting here getting ready to say that you think Tom Brady can get out there and be a tight end? It's just not going to happen. Tom Brady is a great <laughs> quarterback, but you can't compare the two. But Skip, <coughs> yeah, Skip needs to join his brother Rick in the restaurant <laughs> business. And quit, because he's pissing me off and there has not been a public apology. No, nothing. That, um, Shannon Sharp. I know that they are close. I don't know whether it was behind closed doors they talked right. about, it, but he was really affected by that, man. What do you guys think about that situation? All I know is that when I watched it, I was homesick and watched it. So when he said to um, Shannon, he goes, and you need to put your glasses back on because Shannon took his glasses off and he was like reprimanding him for that. I was like, oh, no, you don't. Because Shannon had every right to come on Tom Brady look I you know me I have dissed him on our show I have torn that man apart for his absolutely for how his lack of pa passion for the game right now yeah I there's some there's some a missing link there and I don't know what's wrong with him but when you see someone not playing well there's nothing wrong with admitting it thank you there's Thank nothing you. wrong with admitting it. You would do it for Dak. You would do it for any of your players on your team. If you saw any of them not playing at their Absolutely. potential, you would be willing to be like, take ownership yes. for the fact that your team is not playing well. Absolutely. You I have to be willing to take that ownership. And yeah. that's what, that's what Shannon was doing was taking ownership for the fact that he knows that Tom is not playing well. He's not yeah being Tom Brady. He's not being the GOAT. And so Skip <laughs> needs to lower his little like personality, lower his little man self down. Come on. Be willing to say he isn't. Even though he can still be the GOAT, he's not being the GOAT. Nobody's and taking that away nothing, from him. Exactly. There's mm. nothing wrong with yeah, saying I agree. that. I agree. There's nothing wrong. I can admit, I don't think the Buccaneers are going to do much anymore the rest of the season because their leader is in a headspace that he can't get out of. And until he gets out of that headspace that he can't get out of, because he's in a box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and right now, Tom Brady's in this box that he just can't seem to bust out of. Yeah, I've never seen his demeanor where he's breaking iPads, he's yelling at his team, he's just, mm -hmm. you know, this personality that he's got right now is not him. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, Sean, you made a point. I mean, it's just, I think that it was, it was just low. Yeah. yeah. What you think? Yeah, I, I didn't, honestly, I don't like that he personally attacks Shannon Sharp either. Like, no. Shannon Sharp has his own stellar football career. He's been Thank enshrined. You. He's been enshrined in a pro football. Pro Football Hall of Fame, which is not common for tight ends, by the way. It's no. very, it is very hard for tight ends. It's one of those positions that's very challenging for you to get in 
to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And I, know, I, I think for him to say that, you know, you were jealous, things like that. I, I honestly, I didn't appreciate that either. I think that was really low, especially when they're supposed to be your guy, right? Like, right. you guys have to show together. Y'all are hilarious, or at least you were. I don't know where you go from here because – in my mind, if I if I'm Shay Shay, because that's what our yeah I like friend, Shay Shay, you know our dear friend Anthony Handy, by the way, who's a uh, host many of his own shows, <laughs> it was a great Shay Shay impression. But in any case, um, he was honest with his critique as a sports analyst, which is what you're supposed to do. Absolutely, you you have to analyze your team in an honest manner and players, regardless of who it is. Absolutely, right, and so like. So yeah, I don't think I don't like the personal attack. I think that was low, especially on live TV to go mm -hmm. after your guy like that and to make it seem like he doesn't have his own accomplishments either. <laughs> Thank you. Like, come on, my guy. He's got his own he's got his own uh, accomplishments. Absolutely. And he was, he was oh, giving an honest right. an honest critique and I think that was really low for you to attack your boy like that on air. And I don't know if they can have like that same relationship back to be honest. Like, I, don't I, don't, I don't I don't think like they have a show, so they might be like, you know, a facade now because they got to finish. They got contract. Maybe this, maybe after stuff. this season, they may but not like, be. I just, I just don't know if you can go back now and have what you had before. Absolutely. Oh, because I, that I, was, I, yeah, that was messed up. Nicole? hundred percent. Nicole? I mean, I, I think they should have a talk, uh, you know, off, you know, leave that to the side, um, offline, you know, take it offline, but to do that in front of, not so good. They're going to have to hash it out, though, I feel like, offline. But maybe someone had some rose-colored glasses on, um, some kind of rose-colored glasses, like analysis, analyze, analyze, <laughs> you know? So it's you got an analysis. I TV. love you. <laughs> Absolutely. And I don't think he was doing that. And it's not to analyze, analyze your co-hosts. You're like right. anyone, you know, focus on the yeah. team. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. This is, I mean, it's, 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 Skip just makes me mad. You know, it, even, yeah, Skip just makes me mad all in general. Because th this season, he's just been a little loopy. Yeah, I, so, I think it was messed up. So. He's been very pompous. And he has no right to be pompous because he's not speaking facts. Yeah. Thank you. He just said, look, he just said that Baker Mayfield is going to take no, <laughs> Matt no, Stafford's no. position after he just <laughs> won the Super Bowl. He's hurt. But he's not going to take his position. Come on. Skip is, is, is losing it. The he only way the, the only way that Matt, that he'll take Matt's position is because Matt can't come back because he's hurt. Like, Bingo. That's that's right. really it. It's not he's because, already got the contract and the money and he won you a yeah, Super Bowl last so, year. He just hurt. That's really it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. What else do we got for some drama? All right, so we've got um well, I don't know if everybody's been paying attention, <laughs> but the uh you know the NFL came down really hard on the Saints. They insist that Cam Jordan, you know, our co-host here, like one of the players from her favorite team, the Saints, faked an injury and then the coaches and everybody like enabled it. And so they got fined all together 500 grand, y'all, which is like the steepest fines they've actually handled, hand, have handed down. 500 grand all together. And Cam is like, you know, this is crazy. Like he's tweeting how like, you know, he thinks that's unfair that he really was injured. The Saints insist that they have the medical, like, you know, the screens, you know, all the scans and stuff that show that he was injured. And they're saying the reason they think it was fake is because he used the wrong leg. Is by the way, why they're making this determination is because he clutched the wrong leg. Like, <laughs> so it wasn't like, so that's the other thing, too. People are like this, they feel like this is a flimsy investigation. Like, no one actually, they were like, you're just basing it off which leg he hobbled on, you know, and so. Um, so of course the Saints are appealing, but now it's becoming a whole thing because the NFL say that this is that going forward, if they have reasonable doubt that a player has faked an injury or a team has enabled a player to fake an injury in order to, you know, help the game, stop the game, whatever it is in some way, that they're gonna find them all this money. So <laughs> what is it? So <laughs> yeah, I want to see the coach. I mean Cam Jordan is is my man. As to Kate to Tom Brady, Nicole to Cam Jordan. <laughs> he is mythic legendary. I mean, not to mention this man 
has hasn't missed a, a po- like a, a regular season game other than getting poked in the eye by Steelers. Other than that, his whole entire uh, over ten seasons. So I, he did speak on it, and he was he was quite open about it, and in, in just saying that, you know. What do you out of all of these? He's like, I've been on the field where I actually did get hurt, and you know what? I got up and I still played. I think he was doing the right thing by going and getting it checked out. Don't we want, you know, um, if something does happen for it to not be like another stress on the players to not say I'm hurt it, to get a fine, and for maybe the upper management to be like, don't get us fines, you better get it back up. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was crazy and I looked it up and commanders, you guys are actually number one for fines, $10 million. That's all I, that's all I had to oh, say about oh, that. Oh, oh, that's what she was talking about. She was holding that little tidbit Woo! in her pocket. <laughs> oh, so, the color screen is smoke now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just. I got rattled up with Cam Jordan and uh, I got gotcha. like, No, you were looking up stats. I got gotcha. you. But he did <laughs> grab the wrong leg. It was the wrong leg. I did oh, see it. He, is he left handed? Is he right handed? I always say turn right when I mean left, you know? <laughs> and it's not just right. later after I made the turn that I'm like, oh, you're right. I made the. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. <laughs> but I think, you know what? I do think they're tired of like just the fake, the faking. Like oh, you know, yeah. it's happening at crucial the times. You know, yeah. oh, wow, plays are going on. You want to fall out real quick to make sure that you got enough time. You don't have a time out. <laughs> so I think the punishment was harsh, but I think it will also show teams that the NFL is not playing around anymore when it comes right. to faking injuries. <laughs> yeah, go they, and get yeah. an MRI. Uh, they, they did put out a statement. Uh, the Saints did uh, give out a statement on on the fact of the matter, but I don't know if he, they said they deny the allegations. But there, he did seek out medical attention. Um, he entered the blue tent, was examined, um, it taped. He was able to finish the game, but he had an MRI performed the following day, um, and he suffered an acute midfoot um, midfoot sprain to his left foot. So it left, you know. I that's that's know. what they're using for their appeal. You are correct. <laughs> and the we'll thing see. Is, is, we don't know yeah. what they were doing under that blue tint. Well, no, <laughs> no. any timeouts left, so that they're they're looking at these fake yeah. injuries, as they call them, mm-hmm. because they think they faked the injury to get that timeout so that they could try to stop the right. play. Yeah, coming right. down the field. So, you know, you got. The coach needs to be like, okay, we have no timeouts yet. We can't have anything happen. <laughs> but like, I mean, just because with the fake injuries is another thing they're going to look at putting in review is the roughing the passer because too many of those are being called because of the Tua Tungle Golova incident earlier in the season. So there's so much that their NFL is going to be looking at. Right. But fake injuries is a big one, but yeah. So um, I don't know, but we'll see. They are appealing, though. You're correct, yeah. Nicole. Well, <laughs> keep they are Peel appealing. Away the but I, of yeah, but I think Janae, I think Janae's right, and Kate, and I think the the reason they're doing this again is just to to knock out that culture of because. They're flopping, and it's correct. That's why they're making the joke that it's like soccer. They're like, oh, you guys are acting like you're out there playing soccer and flopping, like the basketball players too, right, who are like, you barely touch the guy, and they're like, ah, you're like it's really good. Like, you know, so, in the NBA, Jason Tatum. That's, that's, what, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Got carried off the court, and all of a sudden he makes this miraculous, like, I know. he came out of the gym. That's what I'm saying. And I can play again. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, that's just. It's not oh, just soccer. Like, we see this at the NBA all the time. Like, you right. barely touch. You're like, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Someone said there's like, a rule with the. the finger, and he's like, yeah. Oh. yeah, so yeah. we'll see. But, but yeah, I think yeah. those are some hefty fines. I think that's why, unfortunately, they're using the Saints, your team, as the example. That's really what it is. They're like, all right, that's, we're going to come down on you guys. People see 500 grand. Like, they're like, yeah, I don't want to. 
It was a lot of fines handed out this last this last week for like that and on sportsman like conducts. Yeah, but I think but those are like they're like twenty grand or thirty. You know what I mean? I can. But they handed out a ton of them this last week. So I don't know. We'll see, but we'll see what the NFL does with the rest of this. And so. They better get out know. fines for people yeah. forgetting to tie their shoes and taking three seconds to tie their shoe. Yeah, I know. We'll see. <laughs> so that, and that's the thing, right? Kidding. So, so on, the, on the flip side of that, right, we have now the Patriots are being reviewed because of the hit to one of their players, and they don't know, you know, Devontae Parker, um, they don't know if they follow concussion protocol correct because if everybody remembers, Aguilar was the one actually stopped the game and got the referee's attention. And like, hey, my guy really got hit pretty bad. It doesn't look so good. Um, so people are questioning the the handling of the Patriots over um, Devontae Parker's concussion. Yeah. And so that's under review. So that's this all kind of ties together like a little bit, like the fake injuries, but also you have the flip side of actual injuries. And Absolutely. so how, how teams are dealing with that. And so now the NFL and NFL Players Association are investigating the Patriots and they're handling – of Devontae Parker's concussion um, because, again, they felt like he, he was brought off the field after a teammate, like, brought up the fact that, you know, he's seeing that he's wobbly. You know what I mean? He saw what we always see when we think Absolutely. someone has a concussion. He saw the signs and helped his brother out, which, by the way, great teammate. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Great yes. teammate, dude. Like, and you you were out there making sure – yeah, it's honestly, Amazing. Like, kudos to you. Amazing. You're you're someone that people should, you know, you're the guy people deserve. Like, honestly, stellar teammate. Like, kudos to you. Absolutely. So, that's our drama, and uh, we are wrapping up. That so was juicy. Can... <laughs> that was a good that one. Was. Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.